Okay, so we've done our um, our levels, and this is what it looks like if you bring it back up. You can see it's taken all that information that we compressed and spread it out here. So, okay, so from there, the next thing we're going to do is grab our dodge tool down here. Okay, um, let's see, we want to take that up and look here, but you can get shadows, midtones, and highlights. We want to work with highlights for this. Exposure, we want exposure about one. We want just the slightest amount on this, otherwise we're going to take a lot of stuff away. And, um, you know, you can choose any of these any of these brushes here, but we want it to be pretty big. Um, so, you know, if you get a small brush, just crank this up and, and, and get it pretty big. Get it about, oh, uh, somewhere around in here. That's probably a good size. Okay, then we're going to take and just scrub this. Now, you want to be careful of your line work, that you don't really overdo your line work here. So, but since we're on 1%, one, 1 it's probably not going to do too much. So, just start scrubbing back and forth here. And you can see, I'm going to scrub back and forth on one line here, so you can kind of see. Now, I'm, I click and pull, click and pull, oops and click and pull coming back across and you can see the difference that this makes so you just kind of keep keep doing this and we're gonna move just move this up just a tiny bit so that we get a little more in here so you can see what a difference that makes it's starting to look like it's a really real white background here now and again you don't want to scrub it so much that you start to lose now one thing that really helps if you will do is to take your on your laptop take your screen and tip it back and you'll see when you tip it back that there are places that you have missed so tip it forward and back and see see what you have missed on there so let's see now that we have got that done um, we're going to change the canvas size here a little bit for our um, our name on the bottom because see yeah, we don't really have too much. We don't want to crowd our name in here. So we're going to go canvas size. And we're going to lock it to the top here so that any extra space we put comes at the bottom. And we're going to make this maybe 7 inches. Say OK. And you can see it's given us some extra space right down here at the bottom. And you'll go over and grab your type tool. And we're going to make this a nice gray, oh, dark, kind of a dark gray but rather than having a, a black and have it too different. Now this says it is 30 point. Let's take it down to 12 and let's take this to maybe um, Arial. Arial is a pretty good one to use for this. So we're going to say your name and then click off of that and there your name will be down at the bottom. Now the next thing that we're going to do here is to save this for, um, oh, the other thing I, I almost forgot here, you've, you've gotten extra layers in here. Before you do anything else, you're going to want to uh, flatten those layers. So you come here, go down to, um, let's see, merge down is one, or flatten image. Flatten image is the one you want from that. And you can also get that from under here, but it's just easier to come over here and do it. Then after we do that, we're going to go File, Save for Web and Devices. And that's going to bring up this. We're going to choose 2UP on here so that we can see a before and after. And then we're going to go to JPEG. And here we can get high, medium, or low, and you can check down here to see the sizes that that makes it. We usually want to go medium, and then we're going to hit save. And do your, your name, underscore, week, uh, and assignment numbers, and save that, and you are done. So you can see that that's a much better quality than what we had before. So good luck with this. I hope this helps you.